in the last video we saw some basics on webhook in this video we will write some code and see the implementation of webhook practically we will make a test payment and then we will check our webhook just as it would work in a real life situation we will not be checking if the payment was successful or not but for each transaction we will be marking in our database the intention of the video is just to demonstrate the use of webhook in real life situation. We will not be concentrating on any security features offered by InstaMojo. In previous video I told you about uh, this index.php file then this success.php file. Also in the last video I told you that I have coded few basic stuff in this webhook.php but I didn't told you what exactly I did. So I use this print r function. What it does it it recursively prints an array. As you know that post is an array, so I'm just printing it out. So there's nothing we are actually doing in this code rather than printing the whole array as it is. So we will go a step further and we will pull out the details from it and then mark it in our database. We are in webhook testing page of our InstaMojo dashboard. Just selecting a random link. This is our webhook link and we are sending a webhook request. So server code 200 states that the response was positive, there was no error. So we can see that all this information is passed through this post request. It gives us bias name, email ID and all the info. It also tells that the status is credit. But by repeated testing I have found that this doesn't necessarily mean that the transaction was successful. Even though transaction is halfway done and I have not completed the transaction, still it shows the status is credit. So I think something is wrong with this. I also tried contacting InstaMojo's support but they didn't prove very helpful. I figured another way which is more reliable than this one. For the purpose of this video we will be marking this ID and uh, payment ID in our database just to demonstrate how this whole thing is working. If you have noted this ID the payment request ID is generated as soon as you request for payment payment ID is not generated unless the payment is processed so I have created a table called a webhook and I have three columns in it one will mark instamojo ID another one will mark payment ID and the third one will mark status whether the transaction was successful or not I have one more file called connect.php which take care of all the database credentials and all uh, I'm not coding it into this page because I have to keep it as tidy as possible. We are copying the values of post to a variable called data. Then we are extracting payment ID. Also we will be extracting payment request ID. The next step is to insert these data into our database. So before processing for payment I would like to tell you that I have added my webhook URL in here and also I have written my query here. So this is my query and so that's pretty simple and it should work. So as usual we have been redirected to our InstaMojo payment page. Where the program is just echoing out all the URL parameters but this time it should be noted down in our database as well so let's check it out right now our database is empty but uh, as soon as we refresh we must see some transaction id so there it goes so this is the transaction instamojo id and this is our payment id and uh, that's it for this video in next video we will be enhancing this feature more and uh, will be focusing on 
security aspects as well. If you like this video then like it, if you don't like it then dislike this video and uh, let me know what can be improved from your perspective. And also I have included a link in description. If you sign up through that and if you are really serious about integrating your website with this Instamojo then they will reward you with 500 rupee I think as of now. Do share this video if you feel like sharing. Thank you and I'll meet you in my next video.